Hey guys, welcome back. I want to say first off, we made our 100 subscribers, so thank you very much for subscribing. I knew we could do it, it was just a matter of time. Um, today we're back at the Airbnb project. Uh, we've got it pretty much wrapped up. We're just waiting on a few things that unfortunately I did have to order through the internet. Um, so while we're waiting on those to come, we're gonna work on something for me. Let's get started. Okay, what I want to work on today is my saw. Um, the saw is on a stand that folds up and it's got wheels. But that saw is heavy. It was great with my smaller saw, but this big saw is a lot to wrestle around. So I'm going to make one that I don't have to fold up and it will park against the wall there in my trailer. So here we go. cut uh, for the box uh, that the uh, saw will set on um, and then we're gonna put wheels on it but right now we're gonna start uh, screwing those together so we got our height our width and our um, depth okay first we'll screw these two together this will be our tops and bottoms and then we'll make them tall So here's a rough idea of what we got, and this will be standing, um, let's say we're behind the saw. I'll have a handle here, and I'm gonna have wheels down here so we can tip it back to us and roll it like a dolly. Um, but the problem I'm having right now is I don't know how high up to set this bottom frame because the wheels have to go through it. So we gotta find our wheels, what size wheels we're gonna use and get those mounted. Okay, just got back from getting the wheels and the only way it could have went any better is if it hadn't been raining when I got back. I got both wheels, big wheels with bearings in them, axle, washers, pins, everything for 18 bucks. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack up and head to the house and we'll unload everything in the garage and we'll resume from there. Okay, so we're back at the house and we got it all set up and these are the wheels we got. Um, pretty nice wheels are used. I got them from the lawnmower guy up the alley. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount them on like this. So I'm gonna take a measurement and then there'll be an axle go through the wheel, through the two before, the bottom frame, other two before and out to another wheel and then we'll put a pin on it. So I'm just taking a measurement and we're gonna go um, about an inch below that measurement. We'll drill a hole run our axle through, okay? All right, here's a look at what, uh, what we did. Um, Drilled holes through the legs, like we said, and then run the axle through. So it goes through all that, through the wheel, and then it sticks out the other side. So um, I got my height just right for where it doesn't sit down on the ground, so it'll roll nice and easy. What I'll do next is I'll drill a hole through this uh, steel rod, slide a washer over it, put a pin through it so that wheel can't come off, and do the same thing to the other side. with 
right now I am loving it. This little tip back, I can't really show you. Um, but I did make one mistake. What I want to do is I'm going to cut two more of these, make them an inch longer. That way, it, right now it's setting down just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to level it out and that, those will be my legs that it stands on. All right. Sets level, okay. Tip back, take where you want to go. <laughs> yeah, that's so much easier. I can't tell you how much I love it, but we aren't done yet. I got lots of more cool things to do to it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I am turning my hat around. Okay, so what I'm doing now is uh, I measured how the saw is going to mount, okay, and the distance between the bolts on the saw is 22 and a quarter inches okay so i want that centered so i took uh, 22 and a quarter inches and i subtracted it from the 29 inch um, outside to outside of this okay that gave me six and three quarters inches i divided the six and three quarters by two because i want half of it over here and half of it over here that gave me three points three seven five which is uh three and three eighths so i'll measure three and three eighths off of each side center these and screw them in and then uh, we'll put a top on it and when we mount our saw they'll have something solid to go into okay top is on, the back is on, and the bottom is on. Um, and I think I'm going to put some sides, but they're going to be small. I'm, gonna, I'm going to just bring them like down to here this much, and I'll give it some support. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll put it across the bottom. That way if I've got something sitting in there like boards or something, they won't fall out when I'm moving it like a dolly. Uh, but that'll give it some support to keep it from twisting like this. I don't think it's going to need it, but it won't hurt. Uh, and then we'll get a handle on the back and we'll mount our saw and then we'll figure out some fun compartments to put in front of it. Okay, so I got this saw mounted on there and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's going to work out pretty good. So next thing I'm going to do, um, the other stand had some arms out here. So if you're cutting long boards, right? So I'm gonna figure out a way to, to hinge some boards that'll be just the right height, and um, then they'll fold down on the side there. That's the next challenge obstacle that I need to figure out. Okay guys, I'm ready for the big reveal. I got this one wrapped up. Uh, before I show it to you, I just wanna tell you that they don't make them like this and this thing is custom made for me and it could not be any better um, so when i need something if i can't find it i make it that's what we did let's look at it here it is okay so um we got this on a dolly let's show you this first um and i didn't put a handle on the back because it doesn't need one okay the saw acts as the handle. See, uh, I can just hold on to that right there, tighten this down, and that's my handle. So it rolls very, very easy. I can move this around so much more easy than the store-bought thing that I had. Um, okay, so let's look at these. I got these folded up, so it looks pretty big, and you wouldn't really want to be rolling this in and out of the trailer. But the way I engineered this is this board comes out, that goes down, and then this just fits in right here. Uh, it's a little trick. Oh, I got it backwards. Just like that. 
Okay, so these go out. I got I made it like that. So do the same thing over here. Goes out, and it goes in like that. Back. Da -da 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 -da. Is that cool? Or what? That I'll tell you what, I'm just thrilled to death. And this gets up. Gravity holds that in place. So now I can, if I was going to say cut this board, I would take this one out, lay it on there. If it was real long, see I got plenty of, of length out there. Okay? See that? Is that cool or what? I love it. And then, okay, again, just going to drop in. Just like that. Okay? Go down. I'll give you a clip. I'll give you a close-up look here. Um, the extension cord we made the other day, we'll just hang it right there. So when we go, um, we got our extension cord with us. Got room for a bucket, so my little pieces that I saw off, I could throw in the bucket, save, um, save time on the cleanup. And of course, we had to laser something and stick on there. That's our new logo. Um, we made 100 subscribers, and I'm pretty proud of that, so created a logo to go with it. And uh, this kind of says it all right there. The wheels are great. Couldn't have worked out any better. I love it. Okay, that's a wrap from our Better Miter Sawed Table project. Um, real quick before we go, I want to say thank you to all of our 104 subscribers that got us over that 100 subscriber hump. Next goal is 1,000. We need everybody to share it. Thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Everyone helps. We're going to get to 1,000 next. We're looking forward to making more of these for you. See you later. Bye. That's a wrap from our better miter tall sable miter tall sable let's try that again okay that's a wrap from our better miter saw table project wish i'd have said that fast